Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Was your HUD messed up like mine was? I'm gonna send this to my friend when people ask me, hey Surf, what's your HUD? I'm just gonna send them this picture and they're gonna be like, what the frick? I feel like I found it. I found the sweet spot right now, boys. We found the sweet spot, boys. We're so there is my first impressions on the new HUD layout tool. Multiple HUDs, definitely a very, very uh, good feature that the game has. Oh yeah, we're smooth now, boys. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite mobile video. Today we have a massive update including multiple HUDs and a brand new HUD layout tool. Anyways, I'm going to be going over everything and my first opinions and first reaction on the whole thing. So stay tuned if you guys do want to check it out. Anyways, before we do jump into this video, if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to smash the subscribe button, hit the like button on the video as well. And just like I'm doing right now, I have nobody as my supporter creator in the item shop. I'm going to go in and type in code surf. Uh, you guys should too, because why not? Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. All right, boys, let's go ahead and check out what this is all about. I see a lot of people on Twitter complaining that their whole HUD is messed up. They're missing buttons and that they can't build anymore. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Boom, a HUD layout tool. Wow, it looks really clean. I will say that. That is my first reaction on that. It looks very, very clean. Very, very cool. Um, okay, create and edit your own HUD layouts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put us into guided access so we have no issues here. But boom, there's multiple HUD layouts. There's new modes. Edit controls for combat mode. Properties. Customize your buttons and HUD elements. Um, and then new HUD toolbox. Place your buttons and HUD elements here. Um, so this toolbox is very, very clean as opposed to before. We used to have to move around the screen and move and find the buttons. Whereas the buttons are very, very easy to find now. And uh, yeah, just like that, it is much easier. You see, you used to have the buttons all around like this. It used to be a mess, so uh, I'm very glad that they have that now we have combat mode we have building mode creative mode the chopper mode motorboat mode and mounted turret honestly this is a very very clean especially compared to what we used to have i can already tell they changed the size of my building hud i'm not going to mess with it until i actually get into creative and see what it's all about but anyways boom here we have hud layouts uh, we have legacy copy which is um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, rename it surfing boy so you can rename your hud surfing boy main hud uh because i'm gonna be messing around with different huds uh inside this game mode that way i can uh make kind of videos i have video challenges for you guys so we have builder pro combat pro old school and then we have six different huds we are now allowed to make uh six different custom huds which is kind of awesome i don't know why this didn't save my name uh could be a bug maybe uh surfing boy main hud let's try this again uh confirm all right there we go now it saved it um and then select layout so we got that boom and uh, let's go ahead and get into creative i don't even know how to get out of here now um exit exit without saving uh discard saves all right and then let's go ahead and jump straight into creative and see what this is all about because as i said i haven't really gotten into this like uh a lot of people have on twitter i did notice that they already changed the buttons on my hud the sizes of the buttons which obviously messes with muscle memory and all that so we'll see and i know they changed a couple of the different mechanics of certain buttons yeah the the size of my hud is completely different not good at all especially my weapon wheel as you can see those of you that watch my videos often it is tiny right now normally it's much much bigger than that but uh we're gonna get that fixed and uh as you guys can see there is a new oh yeah that's weird man there is a new um like edit button so my edit button is normal i saw a lot of people on twitter saying that their edit buttons were broken but as you can see my edit buttons are perfectly normal the only thing that i got ruined is uh Oh, that was a little laggy. The only thing that I got ruined was my HUD layout, which is right here, which I think I could just make a little bit bigger and figure that out just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and exit here. We're going to save all the different changes. And um, honestly, that should be good to go. Oh, that's a little weird. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Turbo building is a little bit different. Turbo building is very, very different. Uh, that's not at all how it's supposed to be, dude. Alright, hold on. Let me, uh, go back into HUD layout tool. This needs to be moved over this way. And I think it was a little bit smaller, if I'm being honest. Um, how do I change the size of this again? I completely forget. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And... Dude, how do I... Oh, there we go. 
all right so you click on it and then it gives you the option to change the size of it uh definitely very very different very very different uh it's much cleaner and much better it's just gonna just like anything else in life gonna take time to get used to uh, I am misclicking a lot here because my buttons are in different places that they used to be. Um, yeah, don't be discouraged if you guys get online and you guys are having this same issue here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to make this bigger. Okay, you double tap it. If you want to change the size, you double tap it. So uh, just a little tip for those of you that don't know that. Um, so boom. Okay, now I can 90. Um, my turbo building stopped working though. I know there's a bug with turbo building. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in... Uh, a little picture, a little screenshot here that Fortnite posted this morning. Yeah, you can see that turbo building just randomly stops. Um, there's a bug with turbo building. It is not real. Everybody's saying they, that they messed up building on mobile to like nerf it or something. That's not true. Um, the it, it is a bug. Fortnite tweeted about it this morning that they're looking for a fix. Turbo building just automatically. See right there, turbo building stopped working. So if you guys are having that issue today, I know it's a little bit frustrating, but don't be too frustrated. Like right there, it stopped working. Uh, don't be too frustrated. Everybody's having the issue, and Fortnite is already looking into getting it fixed. Um, so as for my editing button, um, everything seems normal there. I am not having any issues. Uh, it seems as if all my other buttons are normal. The only thing that got changed was my actual weapon loadout, which in all honesty is kind of the most important part of the HUD is uh, the muscle memory. You see, look, it's so weird. The muscle memory on the weapon loadout. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Was your HUD messed up like mine was? Uh, oh, right there. You saw how laggy that was. Uh, that was the turbo build bug. We can still tunnel. We can still tunnel just fine. It's a little bit laggy, especially with the turbo build bug. But I feel once they get that turbo build bug fixed, it'll be no problem. So we're going to go into the HUD layout tool. Um, let's go to HUD layout. So there's Surfing Boy's main HUD. And then uh, I think we're going to go ahead and click create new. And let's select this layout and let's move around everything. Let's just create the craziest HUD ever. Let's throw in all the buttons, boys. Um, oh, wow. You can add in multiple of different buttons. You can add in the same button like five times. Wow, that's awesome. You can add in the same buttons multiple times. Uh, okay, that's very, very helpful for people that want to use multiple edit binds and multiple uh, like build buttons and stuff like that. I think it is definitely going to be very, very useful for people. Um, this is going to be really funny to see in the actual game itself because look at all these buttons, dude. What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at, bro? Okay, so we have all these crazy, crazy buttons. I'm going to put in literally the max amount of buttons I can. Um, all right, this is pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to send this to my friend. When people ask me, hey, Surf, what's your HUD? I'm just going to send them this picture. And they're going to be like, what the frick? Okay, we're going to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, we have this crazy, crazy HUD right here. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back into HUD layout tool and we should have our other HUD saved. So we're going to click this, select the layout and boom, we have our, our nice little layout that we were used to. We're going to go ahead and, uh, click exit as normal and then save and we're back to our normal HUD. So, um, it's pretty simple once you get used to it. Uh, there's a couple differences. Definitely got to get used to the new placements of my buttons because that is very annoying. I literally can't even do a 90. Um, I could do a 90 earlier, but I moved it once again. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I think right now it's a little too big. All right, we're, we're going to go ahead and save. And I th think that's good. Uh, in all honesty, I think they made the buttons bigger than they used to be. Which isn't a bad thing because I used to wish I could make the buttons bigger. But now that I'm like used to my HUD, I don't want my buttons bigger. I just want it back to how I had it, dude. I feel like I found it. I found the sweet spot right now, boys. We found the sweet spot, boys. We're good. So there is my first impressions on the new HUD layout tool. Multiple HUDs. Definitely a very, very... A uh, good feature that the game has. Oh, yeah. We're smooth now, boys. Oh, yeah. All right. I like this new feature. Um, I, it didn't affect me much other than trying to figure out where my HUD used to be. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it was helpful in any way, we found out a bunch of different features. Make sure to drop a like on the video and comment down below if your HUD was messed up. And uh, let me know because I'm curious to know how many people's HUDs were messed up. 
because I'm pretty sure a lot were. Uh, editing is a little bit delayed there, but uh, hopefully they fix that. As I said, that they did say that was an issue. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. Much love. Catch you guys in the next video, and peace.